Hello everyone, my name is Adretta. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video where I'll be showing you how I built my PC as you can see in the picture. So I will be showing you all of the components of what I have inside of the PC. Going left to right, I have a Western Digital 2TB M.2 SSD or solid state drive which connects straight to the motherboard which I think is going to be very fast. Next we have a Intel i9 10900K if you want to get specific CPU that I believe is amazing. The third item would be the Windows 10 key which I have it facing backwards then the last one in the photo is my RAM, which I have two 8 gig sticks that are RGB, which will light up as you saw in the previous photo. On the top left, I have a Core Liquid 3060R radiator, which is the CPU cooler. As you can see, most of the items are going to be MSI branded which is my personal choice. On the top right, I have the graphics card, which is a 3060. On the bottom left is the motherboard. On the bottom right is a 750 watt power supply. And finally, here is the case that I have which is the MSI MPG VLOX 100R. So here is the motherboard out of the box. On the middle, which I will highlight right now, is where the CPU is going to go. So the next thing that I installed is the RAM, which goes here. Now with the motherboard manual, it says that if it's two sticks, I have to put it in the second one and the fourth one. Now, with the RAM installed, next was the M.2 solid state drive, which goes here. After unscrewing the two screws that were holding the plank down, underneath there was this insert that the M.2 goes into then I screwed it down into one of the holes. Then I got the plate and screwed it back into place. After installing what I think is the easier components, now it is time to put it into the case, which is shown here. As you can see, the motherboard has been screwed down on the corners where it aligns to the case. On the right side, highlighted in red, is where the case components are going to plug into. What I'm talking about is the power button, any case USB connectors, or anything like that. I had to look into the motherboard manual to see where to plug those in. Highlighted in green, is where the graphics card is going to go. To the left of that, highlighted in yellow, I had to take those vents off that were screwed down so the back of the graphics card can show outside of the case. So I can plug in the cables going to my TVs in the future. I only have to take off two of those vents so the graphics card can line up with the back. After that, next I wanted to install the CPU cooler, which goes at the very top highlighted here. Now it took some time for me to install it. You will see in the next slide, it is almost the size of the case length wise which was very difficult to get in. As you can see, the cooler is finally installed and like I said before, it barely fits in there, which everything seems close. Now, highlighted here, 
is where the CPU connector is going to be, which is shown here a little bit closer. And it has the MSI Dragon logo, which looks amazing. Going back to this photo, as you can see, there is a lot more wires that are connected to the motherboard in the back. Now on the bottom left of the photo, as you can see, there is the power supply. Now for there, I just had to follow the manual, connect it exactly where it needed to go to the motherboard. And now here is the video of me turning it on for the second time. The first time was the boot sequence, which scared me. It was actually turning on and off which I thought I messed something up, but it's actually part of the process, I think. Not specifically sure, but I do hope you enjoyed the video.